What does the Canon EOS R6 EF lenses, memory cards, camera cages and a peak design capture clip have in common? In combination with two button back button autofocus, they are all things I recommend for new Canon R6 users. As a former Canon M50 user, I spent literally hundreds of hours researching before I finally pulled the trigger in a Canon R6 a couple of months ago and I've been an active user ever since. During that time I've taken over 10,000 photos and recently I've also started to do some professional photography and video work. I wanted to share some tips for new users or if you are thinking about actually buying one and you're watching this video for, because you're doing your own research just as I did a couple of months ago. The two button back button autofocus and yes that's a handful to say to literally change how I will take photos forever. But before we go into that, I want to start with EF lenses. And to do that, we actually need to start with the EFR mount adapter. The adapter will make it possible for your Canon EOS R6 to use EF lenses, and that can be very helpful. As an example, this iconic EF 85mm 1.4L series professional lens from Canon cost me one third of its R series counterpart. Just take a moment to think about that, one third. This is the 2470 and this is the 200, all EFL lenses, professional lenses. All three combined still cost less than one R lens. That makes the EF adapter a power upgrade for your Canon R6. It also makes it possible to quicker and faster build a professional lens stack that you can use to do more and more advanced and versatile work. And it does that for a fraction of the cost of buying the professional R lenses. I also find that uh, they hold up very well when it comes to the used market. So you can even try and buy and sell some of these for profit. Next up is the camera cage and I admit I got my first camera cage after watching YouTubers and I got it purely because I felt it would make my camera and myself look cooler or more professional. Yes it is silly, I admit, but frankly I wouldn't be able to live without my camera cage. I started out with a smaller camera cage but then I upgraded to this much more expensive 8 sin camera cage. The camera cage will make it possible for you to mount accessories to your camera. This is especially important when building out a full camera rig with uh, rods and V-mount batteries, matte boxes, top handles, an external recorder like the Atomos Ninja 5 for endless video. All of this wouldn't be possible without the camera cage. Another benefit is that it will protect your camera from some abuse. Not all of it, so you still need to be careful. With the cage, I can also place the camera on the ground when I do street photography without worrying to scratch the camera. That makes the camera cage one of my favorite upgrades to power up your Canon R6. This might be controversial for some, but I would actually recommend the V30 memory card instead of the much more expensive V90. I know some of you would say, but the V90 is so much faster and you need that for making videos. But to be honest, I've used this V30 memory card in my Canon R6 and I have never ever had any problems doing photography or doing video with 4K60 and I would always prefer to record to two slots simultaneously for backup purpose when doing important video photography work rather than just owning one fast card. And when making this video the faster V90 card, same size as the slower V30 card, costs 10 times as much as the slower counterpart. 10 times. Let's use that money for other fun stuff. The last upgrade of physical gear I would recommend before moving into the two button back button autofocus and it is kind of hard to say but that would be the capture clip from Peak Design. It is an amazing little piece of gear, it's fairly cheap but it packs a punch. The Peak Design capture clips, especially as a street photographer and lately doing more and more events, 
I find them invaluable because I can keep the camera on me at all times. The Peak Design Capture Clip has made it possible for me to capture moments that I would otherwise have missed if my camera was still in my backpack. I started off with the smaller Peak Design Capture Clip, but then I upgraded to their larger one because that also works with the Manfrotto camera base. That means I can in just seconds go from a full camera rig into handheld back to the camera rig. It's just been a game changer for me and I think Peak Design is one of my favorite small accessories for the Canon R6. Lastly we have the game changer. As the Canon R6 is more of a professional camera instead of its consumer counterparts like the M50, we can make alterations to the camera. One of those alterations is to program two buttons for autofocus. One button for spot focusing and one button for the amazing dual pixel eye tracking focus that we have come to love on the professional R series, the R6, the R5 and the R3. I can literally with just the press of a button go from focusing on a subject or a product or an object to dual pixel eye tracking focus, tracking a human or an animal with just the press of a button. It is an amazing. So instead of going into menus, cause that's very slow to alterate how we should sort of do autofocus. Program the buttons, I just keep the button press that I want, eye focus or spot focusing, and then I can take the picture. I can't even count how many times this has made it possible for me to capture photos that I would otherwise just have missed. So the two button, back button, out of focus. You need to try it and you will never go back.